a shopkeeper buys 80 articles for rupees 2400 and sells them for a profit of 16 percent find the selling price of one article since we have percentage in this sum we can use the unitary method for solving this sum let us see how welcome to methotropism A shopkeeper buys 80 articles for rupees 2400 and sells them for a profit of 16%. Find the selling price of one article. So they have asked us to find the selling price of one article. That is the clue for the variable which we are going to take. So let the selling price of one article be x. Then if we have to find the selling price of one article, we need to find the cost price of one article. So when they have given the question as for 80 articles it is 2400. So we will write cost of 80 articles is 2400. So we need to calculate for one article from that because we need the selling price of only one article. So cost price of one article is nothing but 2400 divided by 80. So when we cancel out the zero we have 240 divided by 8 and we know 8 3 is a 24 so we write 3 as the quotient and the balance 0 again so it comes as rupees 30 so the cost of one cost price of one article is 30 rupees now in unitary method we know that we have to take two quantities and four values so here we have the selling price as x and the cost price as uh, 30 you need to also find similarly for rupees 100 which we will take as the total percentage so here they have given that the profit percentage p is 16 and it is a profit for a total percentage that is the cost price of 100 we are uh, they have asked us the selling price of one article so we need to also find the selling price for an article which is costing 100 rupees so for 100 rupees the selling price is nothing but cost price plus profit so it comes as 100 plus 16 which is nothing but 116 rupees now we have two variables which we will take by unitary method as cost price and selling price so when we have a cost price of 30 we have a selling price of x and when we have the cost price as 100 we have the selling price as 116 rupees so we need to do the cross multiplication so it comes as 100 into x is 30 into 116 so when we keep the x on the left hand side and take the 100 to the right it goes to division so it becomes 30 into 116 by 100 we can cancel out one zero and multiply 3 and 116 it comes to 348 by 10 which means we need to put a decimal place towards the left at the top numerator so it comes as 34.8 since it is in paise we will write it as 80 rupees therefore the selling price of one article is rupees 34.80 paise thank you